Welcome to a new lesson of Microsoft PowerPoint. Well, this is a bit of advanced type of lesson where we are going to learn about Microsoft PowerPoint macro or also known as Microsoft macro. Well, this macro is like a bit complex, but when you like literally see the video fully, you will eventually know what macro does and you know that macro is like very important, okay? You will also see this option of macro in different softwares like Microsoft Excel, Microsoft Word, and you know, other softwares. But macro is like a specific type of, you know, tool, which is most of the time seen or used in Microsoft Excel, Microsoft PowerPoint, and also Microsoft Word. But before getting into the lesson, I'm going to give you a short brief of what macro is and why is it basically used. So a macro is a series of commands and instruction that you group together as a single command to accomplish a task automatically. So what are macros used for? Macros enable you to add functionality to forms, reports, and controls without writing code in a visual basic for application, which is also VBA. Well, if you've seen my Microsoft Excel videos, then you know what macro actually does okay so what is an example with macro okay I'm also gonna give you practical examples too right now but as I'm giving you a brief well you should learn about it too so a macro is an automated input sequence that intimates or imitates keystrokes or mouse action a macro is typically used to replace a repetitive series of keyboard and mouse action and used often in spreadsheets and word processing application like MS Excel, MS Word, MS PowerPoint. The file extension of macro is commonly like known as VBA macro. Okay, so what is VBA and what is macro? Well, if you go to you know Microsoft Excel, then you will know what VBA is. So I'm keeping that topic you know out of this lesson because but you have to know that VBA and macro they are both or they both work together okay so now you know a small brief of what like you know macro is why is it used and what it actually does okay so you can also use macros in Microsoft Excel and Word too and you have to know that is macro in database well macro is a tool that allows you to automate tasks and add functionality to your form reports and control so if you add a command button to a form, you associate the buttons on click event to a macro and the macro contains the command that you want the button to perform each time it is clicked so that is known or that is termed to be in database. Okay, so let's, let's just start off with the lesson without giving any more briefs. Okay, well you will find macro in this view tab of Microsoft PowerPoint because I already opened it up. But if you want to use macro in Excel, well, that is a totally different thing, okay? Now, let's start off by adding in our first slide. So as I've added in my first slide, you can see that I have my title tag and also my subtitle tag or my text box, okay? Now, let's say I'm going to type in some text. Let's say I'm going to type in banana is sweet, okay? Now, what I'm going to do is after that, let's just click on over here, click on this macro and I'm gonna name the macro so I'm gonna add in let's say for here I'm gonna do font and another thing you have to keep in mind that you cannot add spaces when you are naming a macro or eventually other stuff so what you have to do is use in the like this you know let's say I'm gonna add in you know underscore font color then let's say size okay I'm gonna add in that now I'm gonna do is going to be macro in PowerPoint presentation I'm gonna click on enter and that will be create now what you can do is type in those type of content okay you can also record a macro in Microsoft PowerPoint or let's say Microsoft Excel which mostly works but if you are working on Microsoft PowerPoint you can actually automate Microsoft PowerPoint through you know VBA or you know macro just that I told you that how VBA is connected to macro as you can see when I clicked on macro VBA or Visual Basic for application has opened up. Now I'm also going to give you a short brief of what VBA is. So just as you can see that when I opened up VBA, so I'm going to give you a short brief again. 
VBA stands for Visual Basic Analysis or Visual Basic for Applications. Okay, so VBA, my, VBA is like a Microsoft's programming language for Office application such as MS Excel, MS Word, MS Access, and also MS PowerPoint. Macros are the most used or most people like who use or who write VBA code. Okay, so what is Microsoft VBA used for? VBA is used to write programs for the Windows operating system and runs as an internal programming language in Microsoft Office or MS Office or also known as Office. Applications such as Excel, then Access, PowerPoint, Publisher, Word, and Visio. Okay, so what is the role of VBA in Excel, Microsoft Word, and all of those software such as PowerPoint? Well, it is used to automate tasks and perform several other functions beyond creating and organizing spreadsheet and eventually slides. For example, users need to automate some aspect of Excel or PowerPoint such as repetitive task, frequent task, generating reports, and all of those. Okay, so obviously VBA or macro is going to help you through the process by making it a lot easier. But one thing you have to keep in mind that you cannot undo a macro which you already placed. Okay, so then you have to add in that content over again. So you have to be a bit cautious. So is VBA useful or learning a VBA is it useful? Obviously it is. As digital technology is an inseparable part of modern data collection and analysis process, Visual Basic for application or VBA skills are important in most fields. Recru recruiters frequently look for key VBA development skills when reviewing resumes. So when you think about coding or like you know that VBA is also in database so it is a code right? So you might compare it to Python, CSS and all of those right? C++. So you have to keep in mind that VBA is a bit complex because you have to type in all of the data all by yourself and do all of the tasks all by yourself. So we can say that some of the codes such as Python, CSS, all of those are a bit easier to learn and master unlike Excel, VBA or PowerPoint VBA which includes personalized language known as VBA that is complex to master and execute. Transitioning from you know PowerPoint or Excel to Python or CSS like enables user to enjoy various benefits such as an open source coding platform, many volunteer contributions and free libraries. Okay? So, let's just start off with, you know, adding in some codes for PowerPoint. So, what you can see is this text box. So, first off, I'm going to do is remove it. So, I'm going to do is remove it a bit. Okay? I'm going to delete it. So, first thing I'm going to go to developer tab, okay? So you can get this developer tab turned on by going to file, go to option and you will go to, you know, customize ribbon or quick access tool and click on developer from over here and press on OK and you will have your developer tab. So first what I'm going to do is add in some text box. So let's say I'm going to add in text box one, enable ActiveX and I'm going to add in a couple more of these text boxes, two, text box over here and another text box over here. Okay, now I have four text boxes. Now what I'm gonna do is use VBA to automate it. And obviously it is not very simple, but you, have, you just have to follow a couple of my steps, okay? So let's say this is going to be a command button. So if I wanna do that, I'm gonna do like remove it. I'm gonna click on command button one, okay? So let's say this is command button one. Now what I'm gonna do is go to macro, okay? So first things first, I'm gonna do is see, you know, the property. So I'm gonna click on over here, and what you're gonna do is property sheet. So when you click on property sheet, this interface will open up. So from here, I'm gonna see the name, which is going to be text box one, which is like very simple, right? So, and the next one is going to be text box two, and this is going to be text box a bit different, text box four. So I'm gonna go to VBA now. So I'm gonna go to VB, which is also visual basics. So on my slide one, I'm gonna go to modules. On my modules, you will see that this interface will open up, okay? Which is also from slide one. You can also do it from over here. But I'm gonna start from this module, which I'm already activating it. So first off, what I'm gonna do is type text box, okay? 
So let's say I'm going to type in text box. Let's type in text box. And then what I'm going to do is type in text box, whichever one I'm going to select. So let's say I'm going to select on this one if I want it to be this one, which is going to be command button. This is text box one, text box two, and text box four. So let's say I'm going to type in to be text box a bit different. Okay, I'm going to delete this. I'm going to click on text box again. I'm going to add in another one. Now I can see that this is text box three. Okay, so as I'm not gonna like leave any numbers behind. Okay, so I'm gonna I can keep all of it arranged. So I'm gonna do is type in text box three, then I'm gonna type in dot value. Okay, I'm gonna click on macro or VB, text box three, dot, then I'm gonna type in value, V A L U E. Okay, you can add that, but if you don't want to do that, just click on a, sp a bit of space, text box three, value equal equal okay I'm gonna type in equal now I'm gonna type in text box one value text box one dot value okay which is like very simple now what I'm gonna do is press on enter and now I'm gonna type in or maybe something else over here let's say and and text box to value to dot value okay this is going to be equal now I'm gonna hit an enter and I'm gonna save it I'm gonna press on OK I'm gonna keep it to be over here and now let's say I'm gonna do a bit something else now when I save it, when I'm gonna double tap on it, okay, double tap on the save, and you will say like this will appear up to be a bit different, okay? Sometimes you can save it to be PPTX and all of those, but it's already saved so you don't have to worry about it. Now what I'm gonna do is going to be going on presentation mode, okay? I'm gonna click on over here, go to presentation mode, and you will see that this you will be able to add in your data over here. So I'm gonna do is type in one, two, three, four, I'm gonna do it over here too. One, two, three. Let's say from here, let's say five, say eight, five. Okay, I'm gonna keep it to be something like this. Now, what I'm going to do is make something else. I'm gonna keep it over here. Let's say I'm gonna keep it right over here and make another one. Let's say I'm gonna make a scroll bar. So I'm gonna keep the scroll bar to be over here, okay? Which is going to be a bit large, but you can also make it according to your desire. So I'm gonna click on delete now. I'm gonna make it again, okay? So you don't have to worry that much because this is like very simple to do. Okay, you're gonna find out uh, this section. Let's say I'm gonna make this one, okay? So I'm gonna create it by dragging it down. Now what I'm going to do is make another text box. So I'm gonna add another text box over here. And now you can see that this is my text box. So what I'm gonna do is see this over here. I'm gonna go is click on property sheet and you can see this is scroll bar one. So I'm gonna do is copy this, okay? I'm gonna copy and then the value you will see that there is different type of values. Okay, value is zero and all of those. So what I'm gonna do is go to VB again. So I'm gonna click on VB. You will see that this is the same thing. So I'm gonna do a bit like a bit different. So I'm gonna click on over here. Okay, I'm gonna cut it for a while and click on view code. So as it is view code, so I'm gonna do is text box. Okay, so I'm gonna type in text box, box four dot value okay equal scroll bar scroll bar value one scroll bar one dot value okay hit on enter scroll bar one dot value and you will see that it will appear to be a bit different okay now as we're done what I'm going to do is save it so if you want to save it you can also do it so I'm going to do is click on save I'm going to press on yes and you will see that it will appear up. I'm going to minimize it and when you like drag it, I'm going to go to presentation mode, F5. You will see that I'm going to use my presentation key, F5. And then I'm going to do is drag it over here. I'm going to do is debug. If you see this option, you will see that there is some problem, okay? But when you drag it, you will see different type of, you know, like, you know, like data. But if you see that this option appears up, what you have to do is do the same thing over here, which I did right now. You have to open it up on private sub. 
So the private sub is going to be command button. So click on over here, view the code. Okay, then add the same thing over here, scroll bar one. So I'm gonna do is add in text box tree value and all of those back again. So I'm gonna type in text box. I'm gonna type in text box tree dot value. Hit on enter or maybe go back equal type in equal and then text box one value text box one dot value tab we can use tab button to you know like adding it I'm gonna type in this and text box two dot value okay now we're done the text box to dot value now what you're gonna do is just save it click on save I'm gonna press on ok or yes and that will be basically it on how you'll be able to save your data okay now what you can do is do a lot of stuff but I'm gonna keep it to be something like this I'm gonna go to presentation mode again and I'm gonna keep it to be something like this if you see debugs again object is going to be required so what you have to do is fix on the runtime what you're gonna do is go over here and then select on text box one value so what you're gonna do is just paste on it which is going to be you have to see some messages which are you know sometimes like you know which is making some problems so I'm gonna do is text box one value hit on enter and that will be basically it just save it or you know save that content and that will be basically it okay now as we're done we're gonna do is going to be a bit different so I'm gonna click on save and press on yes and you will see that okay I'm gonna cut it I'm gonna go to presentation okay I'm gonna do is press on okay then you can fix it okay now when you scroll it you will see different type of value will appear up now you will see that this is how you'll be able to use macro in Microsoft PowerPoint well you might think that this is a bit complex but what you have to do is just follow the same type of steps which I did and you are good to go and keep that in mind that what you're gonna do is click on command button one and whenever you're adding a content or fixing a content click on them and then go to view code and then add in the content over here but instead of opening VBA okay so that is how it's going to work so hope you guys like understood everything in this lesson about macro and obviously you know that this is a bit of you know advanced type of macro in PowerPoint because obviously in power like you know Microsoft Excel and Microsoft Word you are able to record it but in PowerPoint you are not able to record it you have to paste in the data by yourself so hope you guys like understood everything and watching this video up till the end.